Hey, Talking Tesla Patreon peeps. I want to do a very, very unscientific sort of exploration of the orientation of solar panels and how it affects your input. We're going to take a little solar panel and a little meter and we're going to orient it uh, west, south, north, east in the northern hemisphere at around 9.30 in the morning. There's the sun, it's coming up in the east. It's going to go set over there in the west. And this little setup is going to tell us what's the most efficient at this time of day. So this is where the sun's coming up. We're doing this early in the morning. And we're looking at... 18. 18. So that's pretty cool right now. All right, now let's orient it directly west. So directly west. <laughs> Zero. It's basically at this, this time low. of the day is almost nothing. So south facing. We've got about uh, 12 watts. And now north. So uh, yeah, at north, it's yeah. about six. All right, so they talk about orientation of solar panels being best when they're south facing. So if you have a chopped up roof like mine, it's not necessarily a bad thing to have them oriented in different ways. Now, obviously the perfect scenario would be where you have your solar panel that tracks, 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 tracks during the day and follows the sun. And it turns out that that's really efficient. You can increase your efficiency by 25 to 40% by taking this panel and moving it towards where the sun is all day. Obviously, in a residential area, you really can't do that. You need some more sophisticated equipment. But I hope you find this useful, particularly when you're talking to your solar installer and they're talking about west facing, north facing. And remember, this is all in the northern hemisphere. It's all backwards, like everything in the southern hemisphere. Herbert out, talking Tesla.